Yeah, and Mark, Paul also gives us information of how quickly this is going to happen. He says, in a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, what does this mean? Well, one of the things that's beautiful about how Paul describes the rapture is he breaks it down for us kind of in these phases. And so when you read through it, it looks like it's going to take some time. You know, there's going to be a, a return of Jesus. There's going to be a, a shout. There's going to be the, uh, the shout of uh, the archangel, the voice of the archangel, the trumpet of God, the dead in Christ will rise first. We who are alive and remain are caught up. It looks like it's going to happen over some period of time, but God kind of slows down the, the film, if you will, for us and shows it to us frame by frame, but it's going to happen in a moment, the Bible tells us. And uh, the word there, moment, is uh, the word atomos. It means uh, we get our word atom from that. It's something that can't be divided any further. It's going to happen in a moment in the twinkling of an eye. Now, some take the twinkling of an eye to be the time it takes to blink your eye, which is about a thousandth of a second. Others believe that it refers to the time that it takes for light uh, to reflect off of or to flash across the pupil. Either one of those are, are quick. Uh, the time it takes to blink the eyes, the quickest movement of the body. And so it's telling us that all of these things that we've been describing are going to happen in, in, in a flash of time. So uh, in a flash of a second, every believer on this earth, when the rapture takes place, will be gone and will disappear from this earth. 